Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this topic, we will cover how to create circular button in Android. Okay, so I write my topic here, circular button in Android. Generally, uh, when we create any button in Android, that buttons are uh, present itself in a rectangular shape. Okay, like this. When you create any button, it will show in a such a manner. Okay. But if you want to change that button shape in a circle shape like this, we have to change this button like this. So for that, we have to use a drivable resource file in Android. And uh, along with that, we have to write some uh, extra XML code so we can easily change our button in a circular manner. Okay. So with this little discussion, we will see how to create circular button in Android practically. Okay. So let's start your Android studio. Okay, so here we have to write our XML code to create uh, one normal button. For that, we have to use button tag. Okay, just wait. Button tag. Here, specify proper height and width for your button. Here, I specify 200 dp width and then suppose 80 dp height. Fine. Okay, uh, you can see in the right side the button is now uh, created. Okay. Uh, now provide one caption for that. So to you provide caption, use the text property and then specify your value like this, click B. Okay, now the button is ready. Here I zoom in my button so you can see it easily. Fine. Okay, so in this way we can easily create our regular button uh, in Android. But you can see this button is in a rectangular shape. Okay. And now we have to change that button in a circular shape. For that, we have to write some extra code and we have to also add one new resource file or a drivable resource file in your project. Okay, uh, so for that, go to your project structure. In the resource folder, we have one folder with the name drivable. Just right click on it and select the first option that is nothing but new. Okay, uh, in, uh, from the new, select the second option drivable resource file once you click on this drivable resource file it will show you one dialog box uh, which requires some input from you like file name then root element and so on okay so the first uh, option is file name i provide my file name uh, that is my background fine you can specify any name whatever you want and in the second option, uh, root element means the tag which is by default present in your newly created file. So we have to change that selector tag uh, with shape tag. With shape tag. Fine. So change it with shape tag and just click on OK button. Once you click on this OK button, in your project, you will get one, uh, one more file, one more resource file uh, with the name my background in a drivable folder. Okay. So I minimize this project structure. We will fully concentrate on this file only. So here shape tag means the root element for your drivable resource file. Here we just have to use one attribute. Uh, the attribute name is also same like tag. The attribute name is shape. Okay, fine. Once you specify shape attribute, then it will show you the list of possible values uh, for that attribute. Okay. From the list, we have to select oval. Why? Because we have to create our button circular. For that, I select here oval option. Fine. Now the structure is ready. But we will check whether the shape is ready or not by filling some color inside it. For that, I use one solid tag here. Okay. Solid tag is used to fill color inside your shapes tag. Okay. So here I specify a color value with the like this. Okay. In the right side, you can see the preview. Let's see preview. Okay. If you want to change this color uh, with your choice, uh, just click on this dot and uh, it will show you the color uh, template. Inside that, you can select whatever you want. I select here purple color and then click on this. Click beside. Okay. So the button is ready. Now, our button background is present in a my background file. And your button is available in activity underscore main dot XML file, which is normal button. Okay. Now I have to change this button with that particular background file structure. Okay. It means uh, your button will be in a circle shape as well as uh, it will fill with the purple color. Okay. So for that, use one attribute here. 
the attribute name is background okay background and the possible values uh, for the background attributes are loaded in front of you but out of this option uh, we have to select the value that is nothing but the name of your uh, newly created or drivable resource file our file name is my background so i select here my background you can see here at the rate drawable means the file is present inside your drawable folder and the file name is my background okay just hit enter fine once you hit enter you can see your structure is loaded as per the designing of your resource file but here i have one problem what is the problem you have already specified your width 200 dp and height is 80 dp if both values are different then you will get problem like this to overcome this problem just change your height value as per the width okay so here i changed my height with 200 dp now you can see the right side the structure is perfectly loaded and the uh, button is now ready so in this way we can easily create our circular button in an android i hope you understand everything whatever i have explained here so i stop my discussion here uh, if you still not subscribe to my channel then please subscribe it to get our next upcoming videos okay thank you have a nice day